Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss. This is a breakdown of the new trailer for Barbie. I know, not the kind of the movie trailer I normally break down, but here's the deal, guys. This movie is gonna be bonkers. The first teaser was a Stanley Kubrick homage, and this trailer is just referencing The Matrix and Lost. I gotta talk about it. Jessica Clemens, you may remember, did amazing breakdowns of the past trailers, but she has now moved on from the simple Barbie land nightmare of New Rockstars to the Ringerverse. But Jessica has come back to this hell to help me. So please, welcome back to New Rockstars for from the ringer, Jessica Clemens. Hi, you know, I couldn't help myself when you were like, hey, Barbie? I was like, yeah! And I jumped, I jumped on the chance. I was so excited to be back. Yes, so happy to have you back. And a reminder to everyone watching, please support the New Rockstars Network by grabbing something from our merch store, nerdriot.shop, like uh, this Miles Morales multiverse dive shirt, and let's dive into the Barbieverse. On her rooftop, we see a wide shot of Barbie land. There's a postal worker Barbie who wears heels, of course, because this is Barbie land, you guys. Get into it. B-A-X instead of L-A-X. And on the right, a pink capital dome. Bottom right, you can also see the Chelsea Doll Treehouse, which is like, they just made a bigger scale size of this. The production team did a great job with this. The production design is just incredible. And in this shot, Barbie floats down from the roof of her house to her car. The way a kid playing with a Barbie would gently lower the doll to the floor. And later, when her reality breaks, she just kind of thunks to the ground like a girl who suddenly gets distracted with the cool girl next door with the nose ring and just drops that Barbie like it was bad news. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. And notice how Barbie's skirt billows up. Of course, a Marilyn Monroe dress from the seven year age reference. It's not the first time Margot Robbie has paid homage to Marilyn Monroe after Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey did her old gentleman prefer blondes, diamonds, or girl's best friend number. Yes, yes, yes. Also behind her in her accessory box, it looks like a literal accessory box for like when you get a first brand new Barbie doll. You see her little accessories and a pink faux Jackie Kennedy like pink suit. It's gorgeous. It's great. I hope we see her in it. So she's a Jackie and a Marilyn. Oh my God. She's the best of both worlds. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna touch it. But I do like that. I do like that comparison. Oh my god. <laughs> Barbie and Ken are in the hospital because Ryan Gosling is a Dr. Ken. His pink scrubs are tied behind his back and he rolled up his sleeves. He later tries to play doctor in the real world clinic and it's been speculated throughout the years that Ken's most popular profession was a doctor. And behind Ken are a lot of flamingos, of course, making their beaks into hearts. But we also see a literal heart with EKG monitors through them. And this symbol is used on our newer Barbie hospital play sets. There's a Barbie sounds record, which match cuts with the rotating floor of the Barbie's party that's going on, and it's really cute. All the music is also available to pre-order. You can buy your own Barbie sounds look-alike vinyl on their site, and I did, and I don't own a record player. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were. Now, these Kens all wear these matching golden white jumpsuits. We see Gonsley and we see Kingsley Benadir. We see Simu Liu. And it's all pretty creepy to have a bunch of Ks on a white suit next to each other. K, K. And you know, there's a third K in that line. There's a reason why, Jess. I think we should be scared. 100%. These guys are problematic. 100%. And then we see Barbie walk on the pink sand beach. She doesn't have any footprints in the sand. There's no Jesus in this world. Only Barbie. <laughs> there's also a Barbie. Barbie Statue of Liberty in the background. Pledge allegiance to the Barbie. Yeah, church and state of Barbie. Ooh. Now, Barbie stops the fun dead in its tracks in this trailer. Do you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> There it is, the existential panic that triggers all of this. This movie is set in a kind of meta structure like The Matrix, The Truman Show, The Lego Movie, WandaVision. Jess, we're back talking WandaVision, it's awesome. So Barbie Land seems like it's Barbie's dollhouse pocket reality within the world. And there's, you know, this is really the story of a child mindset thinking about mortality for the first time. And that millennial dread threatening the bottom line of corporations that profit on our bottomless nostalgia escapism. Mm -hmm. You said it. We get an overhead shot of the map of Barbie Land, a pink heart barrier wall on the coastline. It reminds us of the satellite view of the dome set in Burbank of Seaside or the hex-shaped town of Westview in WandaVision, the clock-shaped arena and the Hunger Games catching fire, or what many of us thought was the island in Lost. Waves crash up against the wall. Does this exist in the real world? And this is another reason why this is also so weird. When Barbie mentions all the weird things happening to her, she mentions a cold shower, but there's no shower. There's no water. What is she feeling? <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. I hate it. It's like the shot in uh, in Shutter Island where he takes a sip of the water and the, and mm -hmm. the shot cuts back to it and the water glass is empty. Mm -hmm but it's just like a creepy, like no water shot. Ugh, this can yeah, be a horror film. Out. This can be a horror film if you just want to switch that dial real quick. And speaking of things to shield your eyes from, Tarantino, if you're watching right now, man, you better look away and go back to working on your 10th film because we see uh, Margot Robbie foot shot. 
Her pointed feet drop to flat feet, and this causes all the other fellow Barbies to gag. I love how this one lets out a hollow bellow like Miss France does. <gasps> flat feet! <laughs> I love that bit. I love that sketch so much. Barbie visits her elder on the mount, played by Kate McKinnon, and I'm having a really hard time believing that that cane that Kate McKinnon is using isn't to support her for when she's not doing the splits. It's like only there to support her because she's always in the splits because we know her from the promotional material as the Barbie that's always in the splits. In a separate trailer, we see her in the splits. So I'm like, this cane is only there to support her when she's standing, which is kind of sad, but I digress. Oh my God. Continue. <laughs> yeah, she's got this world map where it looks like she's tried to reconstruct the little she knows about the outside world's geography. So is this movie saying that all Barbies are Flat Earthers? I think so. Uh, we see there's Asia and Africa. Australia, notice it's mm. written upside down. France! And then uh, England has a little crown on it. We have the same shot later that we're seeing right now, the real world this way in the last trailer, the teaser trailer that came out. But this will be the two out of the three times that we see the Warner Brothers logo. They love shoving it into this movie. She plays full homage to Morpheus in the Matrix, the red pill, blue pill choice, offering two options, the high heel, go back to your reality, or the flat Birkenstock. And Barbie does what we'd all do, she takes the blue pill option. The first one, the high heel. Next, the song Barbie is blasting from her diaphragm is closer to find by Indigo Girls because this song is for the all ages. It is for all ages, yes, but mainly, especially the older folks, for us. This song is for us. That's it's for right. us to enjoy. Barbie is maybe a millennial, but also I just think it's really nice and we now get to see a real side of Barbie that she chose Indigo Girls as her main theme. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video, but also thank you to Harry's for making shaving easier. A Harry's razor subscription is a true game changer. Shaving used to be a thing I'd forget about until it was too late. Like if I'm about to record a video, I don't want to scrape up my face with an old blade and I don't have time to run to the store and grab a new one. Harry's five German engineered blades give me the closest, tightest shave I've ever had. And thanks to their subscription program, I've always got a fresh one in hand. I mean, just look at this baby. What pow! Harry's makes it super easy to choose what products you get and how frequently you get them based on your routine. It's the most convenient and most affordable way I found to make shaving easy and accessible. If you want to try Harry's for yourself, just click the link in the description or go to harrys.com slash new rockstars to get a $13 trial set for just $5 and sign up to get automatic blade refills. The trial set comes with a blade, shaving gel, and a blade cover. Everything you need to get started. Once again, to get your $5 trial set just go to harrys.com slash new rock stars and like in the john favreau will ferrell classic movie elf we get a storybook world travel montage desert then by sea and i love how ken is afraid of the seagull in space they're on a rocket then they ride a tandem bike through a tulip field in holland then they're camping then on a snowmobile notice how in a lot of these though there are strings holding up all the two-dimensional backdrop settings in the background. Yes, the astronaut Barbie that we also see is the exact Barbie from My Favorite Career Barbie from the 60s. You can tell from the brown boots and the little rectangle that she has on her abdomen. In the montages, they're similar looking boats and Volkswagen campers and snowmobiles from Barbie dolls from back in the day, but it's clear the design team wanted to make the classic Barbie accessories even more vintage than what they look like back in the day for this movie. Okay, so they get arrested, they get these mug shots taken, Barbie notices 5'6 or 5'7 and her Placard has a lowercase i with the dot, and then Ken's placard reads and Ken, and he's exactly 6'2", but I just love how Ken only exists in tandem with Barbie. And now the music we're hearing is Mama Cass Elliot's Make Your Own Kind of Music, perhaps most famous in pop culture sampling from Lost. It's the music Desmond plays in the Swan Station season two premiere after they open the hatch and the survivors of Oceanic 815 cross from one reality threshold into a deeper one. Thematically, it's really just a call to define your reality for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You love Lost. Lost. You love Lost. You love Lost. The Barbie Land governing body led by President Barbie Issa Rae leads some of KenFest. There are banners with horse head and a horseshoe, and this same logo appears on the drum kit played by Kensley Ken again. You get it? Because it's his last name, but it's a Ken. Gosling can be seen wearing his logo as a necklace later. Barbie leaving results in a toxic Ken's right movement back in Barbie Land. And as in the Lego movie, Will Ferrell plays the meta-reality villain. In this case, he is the Mattel CEO. Yeah, and additionally, the headquarters for Mattel are in El Segundo, California, but you see in the background, these are some very snowy, snowy mountain peaks. These are snowy mountain caps. I think it's another fake backdrop or maybe we ain't actually humans. And I know in the promotional material, they said that Will Ferrell's a human, but unless he's just making fake backdrops for the Mattel office, there are no snowy peaks in California. Yeah, where does the simulation in? Oh yeah. Where does the dollhouse in? 
because this trailer ends with the Aqua, uh, I'm a Barbie girl mm. in a Barbie world, which was in uh, actually the song that Joy was singing at the beginning of Everything Everywhere All at Once, but they covered her because they didn't want to get the rights to it, and the mom covers her mouth because she doesn't like the line, uh, you can uh, uh, brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Oh, ah! oh my God, I can't. This game, this is gonna be a horror movie. We're just like, expecting it to be very fun and silly, but there's a reason it's coming out the same day as Oppenheimer. <laughs> so notice how Candace wearing this black and white cowboy suit, but with a splash of pink with that bandana around the neck, this is the same color scheme that Will Ferrell's CEO character wears with that pink tie, but otherwise a black and white suit. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if he could be like Ken Supreme of this layer of reality. I, he has to like be, that. he has to be. He, uh, Ken, I feel like Ken's have to be him. He he's the like visualization for what Ken should be. Will Ferrell's not gonna be a good character, yeah. you guys. Just get ready for it. I also just wanna add, this is clearly a women's jail. And there's a woman in the cell behind them. There's a woman that walks oh. past handcuffed. And here's Ken excited to be arrested. It feels like Barbie was arrested first and he forced himself into the situation and just followed along. Like which again, I'm not trying to be that person the reason why Ken's are the problems. They're just following and not doing anything. We get the quickest flash of Michael Sarah as Ellen dancing at the party with his gold bow tie to suspenders. Notice though, he doesn't get to wear that KKK jumpsuit attire because he is not Ken, he is Ellen. What is this? It's Ellen, the future of casual entertainment. And like that Alan, it looks like this Alan's doing his own dance moves. He's out of sync with everyone else, but this is important. Uh, the fact that this Alan is not a Ken might be the one thing that might be able to save Barbie Land from self-destruction. I think so. I completely agree with you on that. Ryan Gosling's Ken and his rival Simu Liu, Ken, fight in a beach battle, and when they're just bump, it releases sparkles. Because you know, when you're a kid and you smush two Kens together, it's, it's magic. It's a little magic. I love this. On this beach, there are beach chairs and umbrellas that are all just stacked together. Like freaking check the hedgehogs, you know, mm -hmm. that line the beaches of Normandy during the D-Day invasion of World War II. It just looks like half the Kens use paddle boats like the Marines in their landing crafts. Jessica, this is yeah, insane. How do they know about this? How do they know how to do this? <laughs> and we hear a voice credited in the captions as Ruth say the line, humans only have one ending. Ideas live forever. Oh my God, I love this. This is almost certainly Ruth Handler, the first president of Mattel and the inventor of Barbie. She passed away in 2002, but it sounds like she'll appear in some form in this movie, which is really nice. A little homage. There's a quick shot of the road leading out of Barbie Land. Two Barbies are driving with Alan in the back seat. They return to Barbie Land. If you look at the distance, it has been turned into Kendom. Wow. Yep, yep, the bad things are happening when you leave the Kens alone. Mm -hmm. And then the trailer ends with our Dr. Ken assuming that he can do an epidectomy on the desk. You can see this is a Trojan clinic, I think is what that says. Mm -hmm. Again, with the horse imagery and their association with this masculinity. Hey, a reminder to subscribe to our new channels, The Break Room and The Deep Dive, and you can support us by grabbing some merch at nerdriot.shop. Follow Jessica at Lulu underscore Clements and follow everything on The Ringer Network. They're doing amazing stuff over there, and I can't wait to see what you do. Uh, you can follow me at EA Voss, follow New Rockstars, subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.